What's up guys? So before we get the review going, man, just a big shout out to my boys uh, Vexify and Fudgy the World for helping me get the review done a little bit faster. So here we go. Ultimate Legend Zach Thomas, dual style, zone defense, run stuff style, 98 overall, 5'11", 88 speed, 94 awareness, 94 block shit, 96 hit power, 84 zone, 99 play rec, 99 tackle, 98 pursuit. This guy is without a doubt one of the best, if not the best, uh, tackling linebacker in the game. Except maybe, you know, of course his boss version. But... Now I know this guy is kind of short and he's definitely kind of slow uh, for this late in the game so I can def definitely um, understand why guys would not want to play with him but he's an absolute beast of course when it comes to tackling and just stopping the run and of course he does only have an 86 jump so having an 86 jump and being 5 foot 11 for a middle linebacker is not the most attractive thing for a player and it and even though he only has a 70 catch believe me man the guy makes crazy interceptions but anyways let me show you what this guy can do on the field. So no one can deny that Zach Thomas is one of the best run stopping linebackers in the game. Takes great angles. He will actually not run in straight lines like so many linebackers will. He will actually run around the linemen to make better tackles. Right here, I did get like six hit sticks with him and I did get two fumbles. Not a great percentage, but not that bad either. So it, the one good thing about that, of course, is just like Ray Lewis, at least you're guaranteed the tackle because nobody broke those hit sticks, man. They all went down. And right here, it's not impossible to user him. I know so many guys are down on him because of his speed and his height. But you can see here, man, he's not a terrible user. You can definitely make some plays with him. Like right here, I cut off this route and got the pick. Now, if you're going to user him, I would recommend only doing it if you just plan on guarding like one specific side of the field or one part of the field. He's great for that. But if you plan to run all over the field chasing down receivers and whatnot, of course, he's not the most ideal linebacker for that. Right here, I put him in zone and let him do his own thing. And because of that awareness... I definitely feel that he played so much better. Very aggressive, man. He only has 70 catch, but he made some crazy interceptions. But that over-aggressiveness did bite him in the ass a few times. Right here, he will have his bad moments. In fact, his bad moments really were only the speed. But right there as well, those being over-aggressive will bite you in the ass. And right here, I saw this play coming a mile away. I backed up Thomas before my opponent even snapped the ball, and I still couldn't catch him. Right here, he's chasing his running back, dives on the floor, but he's too slow to catch him. And I completely understand why people would not want to get him because of that. I completely understand his speed is slow. He, his height is not the best. So I can completely understand why you would want to pass on him. But right here, this is why you would want to get him. Run stopping is amazing. Gets off the blocks very well. Now, of course, if you want to get him, I don't recommend buying him right now because of that price. But we'll get to that part later. But this right here. So many guys are running with guys like David Johnson, TJ Yeldon. You know, from time to time, you'll see Bo Jackson and whatnot. But if they're running up the middle, it's no contest, man. He will get them down. He will bring them down. As you can see right here, gets off the block shit and gets the tackle. So if you need desperate help in the run game, if you run a 3-4-4-3, four, four, three, it does not matter, man. The guy will fit your, fit your system. And you see right here, he can definitely get picks. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this review. My final thoughts, do I think he's worth 500000 Honestly, that's just way too much for this card. You know, he's a great tackler and everything, but 500 K for five, uh, five foot eleven and eighty eight speed is just way too much. I feel like maybe he's worth two hundred thousand, which sounds better to me. Be and the only reason that he's worth that is because, like I said, of that tackling, which is why when I uh, was wondering if he's if he's a top five a linebacker, he's definitely not because of that speed. But top ten, I feel you could definitely put him in the top ten, only because of how well he is at stopping the run, and that's uh, really about it. Um, you know, that's really the only thing you can brag about this card. Now, my next review is definitely going to be coming out tonight. In fact, I do have three videos coming out today, which is going to be the Zach Thomas position here with Rashad Jones and that campus here with Trent Richardson. Those three uh, reviews should be coming out uh, today. So anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of that, man. Stay tuned for those reviews and make sure you subscribe so you'll be up to date. I'll see you boys then, man. Peace.